Hi everyone. Today I'm going to make pasta fagiola, the way my mother used to make it. Um, we're going to make a sofrito that consists of, uh, of course, carrots, celery, onion, and I have two, three, six cloves of garlic. They'll get sauteed first. I'll cut them into little pieces, preferably not too big but you know about the size of the beans which are canned beans as I've always told you these are very good they look fantastic as you can see there's if you see any skins you got to take it out and rinse them and they're ready to be put in and then I have pipette you could use any small pasta that you have and it's not a lot of pasta, you know, it's about the same as the beans, about a cup or a cup and a half, whatever you want to do. And then, of course, we need chicken broth, which is canned, or if you have fresh, that's good. And then, of course, we need the uh, red pepper flakes, salt, pepper, and I use rosemary or fresh. Then I have thyme, but I do have some thyme in my garden, so I'll use the fresh thyme and fresh parsley, but you could use uh, parsley that is dry also. Some people add, depending on where you come from in Italy, they will add um, green pepper, yellow pepper into this dish. I don't. And also, some places use uh, wine, white or red wine, or marsala that can be added for extra flavor. I don't do that. I just make it plain. It's vegetarian. You could also use, if you like, uh, sausage meat in this recipe, which I don't. And I'll get started chopping everything up. It's all clean and ready to go. It shouldn't take too long. So here we have one carrot, one celery uh, stick, and a medium onion, and the garlic, which I cut in large pieces that I will saute, which is called the sofrito. And I'll let this cook for about five minutes with the red pepper flakes at this time. Now, when I put garlic in my dish, I leave the garlic in. We like the taste of garlic, not just the flavor. So we eat it and it's good for you. When I peel carrots, usually for a recipe, I'll peel the whole package, leave it in the fridge. Anybody that comes can grab one and eat it right out of the fridge. They just love that. It's available and ready to eat. So now I'm going to put some olive oil and I'll start with the garlic first and the red pepper. And then I'll add the other ingredients here on this chopping board. And I will cook them for about 10 minutes to get them sweated and all blended together. And then we'll add the rest. Uh, also, I'm going to use a small 8-ounce can of uh, tomato sauce. As you know, I use it right out of the can. You pour it right in and then rinse the can with water and get it all out. Uh, also, um, I'm sauteing the garlic and, and the red pepper flakes right now, just for a few minutes, and then I'll add the carrot, the celery, and the onion. As you can see, it's sauteed very well, and it's nicely, it smells delicious, and it's soft. So now I'm going to add all the herbs and spices right into it while it's cooking on medium heat. You don't want to uh, lose control of it. So always leave it at a temperature that you can control. You don't want to do it too high. The best is to do it slowly and lower it. So now I'll put the salt. It does need salt, so I'm going to use a bit of salt. I don't use a lot of salt but I use some. Here's the pepper, which is good. And now I have the parsley and the thyme. Here's the fresh parsley and thyme. I 
usually take out the time uh, when I'm ready to serve. Once it's done its purpose, I don't need to eat that. And you give that a few minutes to all blend together with the red pepper also that's already in there. At this point is when you would add the meat and you would add the uh, wine if you needed to do it that way. Saute the, the meat with this together and that's usually good too. So that's it for now, a few minutes. So here's the tomato. Here's the whole eight ounce can and I'll rinse, put some water in it and rinse it a little more. And then I have about cup and a half of chicken broth. I'm going to let that cook for a while. So this is how it's looking with the tomato and the chicken broth, but you can use also beef broth or whatever you have around. If you want to use vegetarian broth is fine too. So this has to cook for about five minutes. Well, about five minutes has passed, so now I'm going to add the beans right into it. Also, if you don't want the red sauce, you can always make it a uh, white sauce by eliminating the um, tomato, but the tomato does give it a good flavor um, you know, to make a nice Italian sauce, which is in Calabria. We always make it this way. And um, so now we put the beans in, and of course they're already cooked. So they just need to um, take some of the flavor of this for a couple of minutes, a little uh, boil, not, not a great big boil, but a little boil. And then we'll add the pasta. Okay, so now I'm ready to add the pasta, which is about a cup of pasta, right in the same pot. It's like a one pot meal. And now the pasta has to cook together, all together, and that's it. That's basically the recipe. I'll show you the finished product in about 15 to 20 minutes when the pasta is ready. So here you can see while it's cooking, it's getting thicker. The pasta is not cooked yet though. And um, I could do away with the time. It's done its purpose. And as you see, I don't have expensive pots and pans. I just use just stuff I get at Costco or it doesn't have to be expensive to cook well. It's what you put in and the time you put in and the seasonings. That's what makes the dish. The pot, you can use any pot. Also, while the pasta is cooking, I went ahead and cleaned up. As you see, my kitchen is nice and clean right now. At this point, the uh, pasta is almost cooked al dente, so I'm going to put in some cheese, about two big heaping spoons of cheese, and mix that together. So here's a dish of pasta fagiola. You can actually see all the different ingredients in there. And I put topped it with some cheese, and I'm ready to have my lunch. This uh, servings, it could serve four people this size, and you could either use it as a full meal with salad, or you can uh, use it as a first course. Um, you could make it more soupier to make it like a soup um, appetizer or a pasta appetizer, whichever. And it has the protein in it and the, uh, you know, the beans that have the iron in it. So that's a full meal in itself. Hope you like it.